How many of you pet owners take care of your dog's teeth? It can be a challenge to do so consistently, but it's important. In fact, not taking care of your pet's teeth can lead to bigger issues down the road, like dental disease. Here to explain more is Dr. Emily Stein, who is the founder of Teeth Daily Dog Dental Care. Emily, yes. I see that you brought a friend with you. Yes. Who is this? This is Loki. <laughs> He's 10 weeks, little chihuahua, absolutely adorable, dressed as in a Santa costume. <laughs> With the, with the hood. With the hood. With the ah, hood. That is so cute. <laughs> and you said he's tired, so he is. Yes. He's being low key. Get it? <laughs> but that was your joke. <laughs> that was our joke. All right. So, doctor, uh, tell us about dental disease, uh, disease and how common it is with dogs. Well, sadly, 80% of dogs by age three have dental disease. It's pervasive. <sighs> Only three. That's very young. Very young. Very, very young. And so, um, if you don't take care of these problems, we're saying that there might be bigger problems down, down the road. Absolutely. What are, what are some of the signs, first of all, of dental disease in a dog? Sure. So signs can be um, bad breath, mm. which uh, can progress to horrific breath. Um, but below the gum line is actually where a lot of the disease starts. And so you can start to see s signs of the disease when the gum line turns a little pink or you see a red line. That's the first sign of it, and it's called gingivitis. Mm, okay, just like in humans. Just like in humans. But, okay, so go ahead. And, and dogs, interestingly, don't get cavities. Oh, interesting. Their tooth enamel is so hard compared to humans. Unless they break a tooth, then they're susceptible to getting um, cavities. So it's, it's really a gum disease problem in dogs. But people might say, well, okay, that's isolated to the dog's mouth, but that's not the case. Not the case. The what happens if it's not dealt with? Right. The bacteria below the gum line escape through the gum tissue into the body. Oh. And that's why gum disease is linked to certain cancers, uh, li liver problems, kidney problems, even dementia in dogs. Um, and they can lose about a third of their lifespan. So people that have dogs, they're fur babies, they're part of the family. Mm -hmm. They don't want to see the dog suffering uh, in mm -hmm. any way, shape, or form. So what then can a dog owner do? Yeah, so um, the best thing to do is get regular dental checkups with the vet. Okay. The second best thing to do, surprisingly, is to vary the diet. Um, the more varied diet encourages the maintenance and growth of beneficial protective bacteria in the mouth surprisingly. And then the third thing is also um, switching out the water very regularly, even washing the water dish. The dishes we're finding is harboring a lot of disease causing bacteria. Well, that makes all the sense in the world, yep. of course, because it's a backwash, if you will. Yep. Um, so some people, uh, they, they brush their dog's teeth. They do. But, Seven percent. But, but I mean, a lot of people don't have the time to do no. that every day. So what else can they yeah. do then? And my puppy Other eats most of the toothbrushes, so it doesn't work. <laughs> just choose but them. <laughs> just choose them. So uh, what you can do is uh, get chew toys um, to really, you know, encourage or get rid of that plaque and tartar on the teeth and to um, really stimulate the gum tissue. Um, other than that, smaller dogs have a problem because they don't chew on a lot of toys. Mm. Um, Dental treats are given, but watch out for the calories. There's a lot of carbohydrates which feed the harmful bacteria. Oh. So be very careful about what you can do. And, and that's kind of what why I got in, involved in this is to really um, improve uh, products on the market that can really take care and prevent the disease. So you have a background in microbiology. Yes. Uh, how did that help you to get where you are here? Yeah, actually, Cal, go Bears. Um, <laughs> Your alma mater, yes. Oh my, yep. So um, uh, I studied uh, microbiology and, and basically how to handle bacteria without using antiseptics, which are harsh chemicals mm. that can kill, or antibiotics, which bacteria, psh, they resist quickly. So we're using nutrients to actually steer who can live in the mouth of, of dogs and people. Wow, okay, so, and you have a whole backstory about that, but. Yes. Yeah, one day we'll, we'll get back into it when we have you back on the show. Sure. Uh, Loki is how old? He's 10 weeks. He's, <laughs> look at that face. We want them to stay that size and look like that forever, but they grow up, of course. Mm -hmm. Very yep. cute. Thank you very much for joining us. For more information, uh, visit teethhealth.com. That's T-E-E-F, that's two E's and an F, health.com. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.